So this is like saying to his membership that the General Council of the Union has agreed to this proposal. Now, Coretta McDonald comes along and she says, we don't agree with this. I don't agree with it. To move motion, yeah, we, we are moving this motion in the toilet because anything you are trying, and I put in it out there, anything you are trying, we coming for y'all because you are wicked. The fight is not amongst us. The fight is not amongst us. Um, people are beginning to ask me about Rickford Burke and when he's coming to Guyana. You have seen the government's statement on Rickford Burke. The matter is now receiving the attention of the U.S. Justice Department. The membership rejected the 10% proposal, prompting the delay in finalizing the MOU. So I don't know when this was, how you put this to your membership, because if you claim you have 6,000 members or 10,000 members, then did you ever formally put this to the membership? The coroner, because here I tell you all something. Victoria, good morning, baby. This party, bigger than all of us, it's not about the comrade leader anymore. It is about the people. I have neither the time, the energy, nor the inclination to listen to what Bork has to say. But let's just be patient. Get your popcorn, get your Coca-Cola, and just look at how this will unfold. That is all I want to say. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. So, GTU formally rejects government offer. And then, uh, um, signing of teachers pay deal delayed for more consultations in GTU. And the, and the reason I, I'm dealing with this because we, as I said before, these are the two Kaichur News articles. But, so I treat the Kaichur News as, um, the Starbuck News as a more, these are two Starbuck News articles rather. They, I treat the Starbuck News more seriously because they're more a serious paper. But there's one thing that was omitted from both of these articles that strangely the Kaicho News had. It says, and I'm going to read it to you. So it speaks about a statement that Mr. Light circulated. And the statement said, colleagues, good morning. General Council met yesterday and made a decision to accept Ministry of Education's revised offer of 1089 for the three year period, with the caveat that should public servants get more than our offer, the difference will be given to teachers. These direct financial benefits will be added to other indirect financial ones outlined in the other areas of the agreement. The union wishes to have some of these benefits rolled out in the month of September. So this is like saying to his membership that the General Council of the Union has agreed to this proposal. Now, Coretta McDonald comes along and she says, we don't agree with this. I don't agree with it. So nowhere in the Starbuck News articles does it say that the General Council is the highest body. It's like the, the Congress of the party, 
is the highest body, but in the absence of a Congress of the party, the central committee of our party is the highest part, um, body. Similarly, in the PNC, they have their general counsel. So, Coretta McDonald comes along and says, I don't agree with this. And the Starbuck News says, Coretta McDonald, GTU General Secretary, provided further insight into the situation to Starbuck News as well. She stated yesterday that while the government had made a formal 10% offer last Thursday, supporting documentation only referenced a 9% increase. Consequently, the GTU's highest decision-making body, the membership, rejected the 10% proposal, prompting the delay in finalizing the MOU. So I don't know when this was, how you put this to your membership. Because if you claim you have 6,000 members or 10,000 members, then did you ever formally put this to the membership? That can't be the highest body decision making. It's the general council. And we heard from in the Kaichor News article that the general council actually made a decision. So what happened here is that the Starbuck News in this instance did not reflect that the General Council of the Union had made a decision to accept this offer. And that Coretta McDonald, taking instructions from Congress Place, went and sabotaged this. Sabotaged this, worked up people, got, uh, uh, they, they got in touch, she and her cronies, with a not large number of people, or not large number of other teachers to write in put it in the WhatsApp group that they rejected this. This, didn't, this doesn't constitute a formal decision by the membership. The formal decision was made by the General Council of the Union. But Coretta McDonald, and why is this so? We have already established that Coretta McDonald is illegally in Parliament. She should not be the General Secretary of the Union because the Union's rules, their own rules said that you cannot be the General Secretary of the Union and be a member of Parliament. She has ignored her own Union's rule. That's one. Two, the General Council of the Union made a decision and she comes along taking the tech instructions from Congress Place She's a politician from Map News Camp. They don't want the issue resolved with teachers. So she goes to, to she sabotages the general council. And then she gets the headline as though she's speaking on behalf of the union, but misleading the newspapers. So I hope that Starbuck News would look at it and don't quote her as the definitive voice of the union because they omitted from all of these articles and misstated, misstated the decision as to who can make the decision and they never reflected anywhere in these two articles that the formal decision was made by the general council to accept it. Now, now this is the teachers total package now, we, we spend nearly $40 billion on wages and salaries for teachers per year. This here works out to over, it's about $4 billion, the 10%, and over the three years, when you look at it cumulatively, that will be about maybe just over 12% because you, you have to look at it cumulatively. And it would... Um, it would be about $12 billion. The offer for the three-year package is to increase wages and salaries alone for the teachers for about $12 billion in the next two, two years. That is how much more teachers will get, or 60 million, 60 something million US dollars more they will get over the next three years, leaving out the other adjustments that we are making where you go on the scale, a number of people have been increased, put, put higher on the scale. We have now paid high, higher allowances for 
hinterland teachers, um, we are paying more for qualified teachers. And you know we are already have 4,000 teachers now studying under the GOAL program. So once they get a degree, they will get a big allowance um, if you get a, a bachelor or a master or a doctorate, you get bigger allowances in these areas, leaving out all of those things, and then the non-financial benefits. We've been, we said we are approaching this in a different manner. We want to work collaboratively with the union. I think that many of the, the sober heads, the sensible heads in the union see a great attempt to address these the concerns of teachers. We couldn't go back in the past, but we're making a dedicated effort to do this. And, um, and they, they agreed to the package. Coretta McDonald wants to derail this for political reasons once again. And I'm disappointed with the reporting that there was nowhere in any of these reports and the Sabakun report particularly, that a, a formal decision was made at the general council of that union to, to accept this offer, and then it was unraveled by Coretta McDonald. One love, Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight. Well, listen to that. Guess who's getting blame directly by the VP? for not taking allegedly that terrible deal for the teachers. None other than the double honorable, honorable Miss McDonald. Now, the fact that she's being blamed for not taking the deal or for them not accepting that type of offer that the government had for them. We got to ask ourselves, who in getting blamed and why? Because if you observe what's going on, there are certain names that are being credited with going along with that allegedly terrible deal that was offered to the teachers. Now we got to ask ourselves, how certain people name is going along with accepting something like that commendable something to be celebrated and something to always be remembered is the actions of the double honorable coretta mcdonald now, we know and we can see, allegedly, is what's going on. And Guyanese is not no fools. We're smart enough to analyze for ourselves what is taking place in front of our face. Because when a man name getting called in certain things, allegedly, you ain't got to wait till night time for go with the light to see what's going on when you're done could get the shadows and the glimpses in the daytime. You see what I'm saying? Let's have a conversation in the comment section about this one here, buddy. We are seeing going on right now. As far as this teachers and what we want to call it, teachers drag out. Because I feel like they're dragging them out and stretching them out as long as they can so that they can give them as less as they would like to give them and get and guess what because of the time they've been waiting they might more likely accept it but again these actions are very much celebrated and commendable because i know that there is a number a number of other persons that are a part of the teaching profession and those that are not as well that would be asking themselves, but why you would take a deal like this, given what you were on the road all those days for? As we proceed, we're about to hear directly now because a lot of things are on the road for a while. 
and a lot of things are on the airways now for a while because it's a while now we're hearing this back and forth this back and forth between not just the vp but the ag and none other than the great mr burke but guess what the ag has something for say right now about that situation and he's about to let us know what's going on with that right now So if you haven't already, buddy, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button and keep this content trending in the algorithm. Hit the thumbs up button so that everybody in Guyana and the diaspora could be updated with everything that's going on right now on the ground. Um. People are beginning to ask me about Rickford Burke and when he's coming to Guyana. You have seen the government's statement on Rickford Burke. The matter is now receiving the attention of the U.S. Justice Department, the U.S. State Department, the um, Federal Bureau of Investigations and another uh, and a, a series of important functionaries within the U.S. government. The government of Guyana is following the protocols as we have been invited to do and the formal complaints have been submitted. We have a team of attorneys at law in the United States of America, who will be following up with the different agencies while our ambassador in the US will also be engaging. And of course, here in Guyana, we will be liaising with the um, US Embassy here. So uh, a process has been activated and let us await the process to unfold. I, I, people are asking me if I am looking at Mr. Bork and what he's saying. My lawyers are also reviewing what Bork is saying. I have neither the time, the energy, nor the inclination to listen to what Bork has to say. But let's just be patient Get your popcorn, get your Coca-Cola, and just look at how this will unfold. That is all I want to say. The gods say that whom they wish to destroy, they first make mad. Well, apparently that saying is also being seen as manifesting in the form of Bork's behavior. So the least I say about Bork, the better. Let the process run its course. And we will see who will have the last say in the matter. All I will say is that the legal process may be slow, but it is sure. The arms of the law are long and they can reach in very far and deep recesses to bring those who are considered fugitive, fugitives to justice. And I'll leave it there. So, let's start. You would have seen in the public domain a lot being reported in the press in relation to the registration of a foreign arbitral award in the courts of our country. And the gods say that whom they wish to destroy, they first make mad. Well, apparently that saying is also being 
seen as manifesting in the form of Borg's behavior. So the least I say about Borg, the better. Let the process run its course and we will see who will have the last say in the matter. All I will say is that the legal process may be slow, but it is sure. The arms of the law are long and they can reach in very far and deep recesses to bring those who are considered fugitive, fugitives to justice. And I'll leave it there. So, let's start. You would have seen in the public domain a lot being reported in the press in relation to the registration of a foreign arbitral award in the courts of our country. And the gods say that whom they wish to destroy, they first make mad. Well, apparently that saying is also being seen as manifesting in the form of Borg's behavior. So the least I say about Borg, the better. Let the process run its course and we will see who will have the last say in the matter. All I will say is that the legal process may be slow, but it is sure. The arms of the law are long and they can reach in very far and deep recesses to bring those who are considered fugitive, fugitives to justice. And I'll leave it there. So, let's start. You would have seen in the public domain a lot being reported in the press in relation to the registration of a foreign arbitral award in the courts of our country. And the gods say that whom they wish to destroy, they first make mad. Well, apparently that saying is also being seen as manifesting in the form of Borg's behavior. So the least I say about Borg, the better. Let the process run its course and we will see who will have the last say in the matter. All I will say is that the legal process may be slow, but it is sure. The arms of the law are long, and they can reach in very far and deep recesses to bring those who are considered fugitive, fugitives to justice. And I'll leave it there. So, let's start. You would have seen in the public domain a lot being reported in the press in relation to the registration of a foreign arbitral award in the courts of our country. And the gods say that whom they wish to destroy they first make mad. Well, apparently that saying is also being seen as manifesting in the form of Borg's behavior. So the least I 
save out work the better, let the process run its course, and we will see who will have the last say in the matter. All I will say is that the legal process may be slow, but it is sure. The arms of the law are long, and they can reach in very far and deep recesses to bring... So we hear with the AG just had to say about what is going on as it relates to everything that is dealing with that back and forth between them and the great Mr. Burke. Well, as we progress in the video, there's other fires brewing. There's other fires blazing up right now and getting hot because we're hearing this back and forth between none other than PNC, the PNC activist and the PNC member herself, Miss Robin. And she has some choice words for some persons who just formed allegedly a party, allegedly that is trying to go against what they have going on right now. So we're going to hear directly from Miss Robin as we proceed in this video. Thanks again for spending some time with us here at Delta 9 Media and enjoying this content. The coroner, because here I tell you all something. Victoria, good morning, baby. This party, bigger than all of us, is not about the comrade leader anymore. It is about the people and what the people need. The people choose. The people we have. Listen, not even we. The people decided this is what they want. It's not about us. It's bigger than all of us. And there is a great team that will take the people to heart. We're looking at the hearts of the people. We don't want nobody to constantly got to collect and out. It's, it's time we change that. It is time we prepare and provide for our youths. Not chase them and have them doing our jobs here and have them our jobs there. And then next thing you know, they got to constantly there on the road and they're hanging in the corners. We have to start looking out for our youths. We don't have time to be back and forth and who want lead party and who want run party and who want I jack this up. No one I jack. Y'all and I jacking nothing. I want y'all know something. There is nothing to be hijacked. Because if you all feel that those of us who are sound-minded, those of us who understand what is happening, those of us who already don't see, those of us who God open up the channel and show us what is happening, if you all think we're not going to stand against you, or you all lie. If you all think that you will not be exposed, you all lie. If you all feel that we don't know that it's the oil money and some of y'all interested in y'all vehicle and y'all getting y'all house and traveling here and traveling there and all of the big fancy things who some of y'all don't get house by for y'all in Florida Keys. Y'all think we you know y'all business. Get a grip of yourself, yeah? The ordinary Guyanese will stand against you all. The ordinary Guyanese will stand against you all. Because we are looking for confusion. We want to know that whoever we put there can be accountable and will be accountable for each and every Guyanese. Will represent each and every Guyanese. Whoever we put there. So y'all and I jacking nothing. Y'all won't come up with here. Y'all won't come up with. What is the word? To move motion. Y'all, where y'all moving this motion? In the toilet. Because anything y'all try. And I put in it out there. Anything y'all try. We coming for y'all. 
because you are wicked. The fight is not amongst us. The fight is not amongst us. The fight is for the PPP. Let's take the fight to the PPP. Let's take it to them. Let's go in front of um, Ali's house and his office and tell him what we need for this country as a people. Let's go in front of Barajak Dio place. Let me tell you all something. At night, Barajak Dio to sleep. Barajak Dio sleeps at night. And if you all want problems, we want problems. We going to give y'all problems. My mother always said don't take problem. Give problem. Any form of disruption y'all want to cause for this party now that we working to win this election. We are on the ground. How much of y'all we just see? We are on the ground. How many of you will leave your homes to come out and join us? We are on the ground. And y'all feel that because y'all sending little amper A, giving this body, this, this body done, this body done, y'all feel that Aubrey, this and Aubrey done. And oh, we, what the people that walk in behind Aubrey and got no sense of direction, girls and boys, let me tell y'all something, me, I got more than sense of direction. I got the old compass. Because I don't move by myself. I don't move by myself. I move with God. And what God says, I follow. I listen to. I move with God. So we end up in y'all, a party y'all, stupid place. We are on the ground. That's where we are. We are on the ground. We listening to people. Six o'clock. You know, is it for six o'clock people come to your house? To tell you the problem? You know, is it for you lie down in your bed and you are in inside? Inside! When you look up and watch out, is a big woman or a young boy or somebody with a problem? You know, is it to know that you have a daycare? And for just for the parents got to work and money can't reach you still keeping the children. How things bad in this country and you are coming and want to say, you all want to tear down and break down this PNC party, this APNU. All the all parties, small parties, with the other, y'all best get y'all act together here. Yeah. Because all of we coming together for get Barrett out of there. That is what we should be thinking about. We hear some we wear some other parties brewing like drink some water because I are drinking water today and I'm mining our business. We hear some parties brewing. We hear some parties we downloading, some parties downloading, and one of the parties we hear downloading. I hope you all downloading and going and sign up to create parties to go into the PPP area. That is why I hope you are doing. I hope these small parties creating to go into the PPP strongholds to bring out votes. That is why I hope you are doing. You are coming to join the coalition to go into the PPP strongholds to bring out votes so that we can win this election. I hope that is what you are coming to do. I hope that is what you are downloading and you are trying to create your party to do to go into the PPP strongholds to bring out votes eh? because from what I can remember back when was local government some of y'all didn't want to become councillors y'all wanted to go directly to them into the mayorship's position y'all didn't want to work for your constituency you did not want to work for your constituency you wanted not to take. You didn't want to go down because you were in high position. So if you go down to, to become a counselor, it would look bad. You wanted to go directly to be placed as a mayor. And because it's an happen, you're vexed. Y'all know I able. 
So when y'all downloading and y'all trying to get y'all party up and running, remember that most of you got issues with the decisions the comrade leader make because of the he is, he is thinking about the people and bringing back order and bringing back truth and bringing back hope, restoring the hope for our people. So he don't business about what? He don't business about position. He's looking for the people who are working, who wants the people, who has the pool, who is, is, is thinking about the ordinary guy means who will stand up for them who will represent them who is is feeling for them who are interested and if you don't get a position he and business brother and none of us should care if we ain't get a position because our focus should be the people and if you can be counselor you prefer to be a mayor you want to be a mayor because you're, you're up there and you've been up there. So it's hard for you to take that position. So you're all vexed and up in your feelings. Then you got all of them running about sexual abuse and you all got a big support and you all scandaling the man name and you all trying to break us up. I know that it will all come to an end. Know that we are going to stand against you all. All the PNC strong, the what? Everybody who is, all the PNC style works. Every person that is a true PNC, even if you're out there and you're looking to join the party, you, I know, listen, we gonna come against y'all. So I just want y'all to know. Might know y'all treading because, um, hello, the APNU. PNCR APNU party gone in for elections. We ain't gone in for nothing else. We ain't gone in for nothing else. This party has been good to a whole lot of people. This party has done so much. When some of y'all sit down up inside the day and y'all doing y'all own things. When some of y'all sit down up inside the day, y'all ripping people right, left, and center. Y'all don't remember today would have come. Y'all don't remember that today would have come. A day would come when we got to campaign to go back in power. This is the time and we are campaigning. We don't have time. So any corruption y'all coming with, y'all know we ready. Any, y'all just blink some. Yeah. We ready. Because them poor people gotta eat. This 100% wild crafted CMOS. Only the best. Because you deserve nothing less. Aid Butterfly. It is said... It costs one and a half million dollars for a license and one and a half million dollars per weapon. I, I can't believe this is happening. 